given moment, your body is covered with germs and bacteria. And they're just waiting for a time like this. When you're in a weakened state, they can grab hold and grow into something you can't fight off. All the bacteria need is a break in the skin to get in and infect you. And on the ocean, it's surprisingly easy to tear your skin. When you're sitting in your life raft or dinghy, after a little time goes by, you're going to begin to dry out. Salt crystals will develop on your clothing and skin, and they'll wear right through. Eventually, that's going to develop sores on your body. And if you develop these sores, you're opening yourself up to infection and ultimately inviting death. What you need to do is change your position. Don't sit in the same place. It's really just that simple. Try to rinse off if you can. After a few days, your muscles will start to get cramped up, a bit atrophied. You want to try to prevent that and maintain proper circulation by moving yourself all around in the life raft, change positions, do a little isometrics, work on those large muscle groups. Your legs, here you can just flex them. Your muscles, like you're lifting weights really hard. And that'll give you a little exercise and what you need to maintain your strength. But don't get carried away and stand up to exercise. Here's sea survival tip number 101. Never stand up in your dinghy or life raft. It might be tempting to try to stand up, look for rescue, or get someone's attention. But you definitely don't want to end up back in the drink.